there you are looking straight at me and here's my cast, I'm making my cast straight at you. Now if I just put my cast down now, look, the belly of the line is dragging the fly across the current. So what we need to do is what we call mend the line, which means fix it. Now that's fine, it's fixed now, but we did that after the cast had stopped. We want to make what we call an aerial mend. And an aerial mend happens before the cast stops. So we've set the course of action and we don't have to do all this, disturb the water or pull the fly out of position or make any disturbance. We can do all the work before the fly end, ends and just keep in touch with it. They're called aerial mends and this one I'm showing you is called a reach mend. Why? You simply reach. Here's all I'm going to do is I'm going to make the cast and then after I've stopped with the cast, I'm just going to pull the fly line over here before it lands on the water. Simple as that. The thing with a reach mend is the fly should land straight, but the rod should end over here. It's not a curve cast in that the fly ends over there. The fly should land straight, but the rod tip lands upstream. So this is an upstream reach mend there. So we're just changing the direction of the swing. We're not changing the path the flag is going to take. It's called the reach mend and it's brilliant for beating the wind. For instance, if I've got a strong downstream wind now, which I have, I'm just going to put the fly down and do a strong upstream mend. If I make a cast up here, I'll show you what it looks like. If I just stop now, the fly line gets blown downstream. But if I make the stop and then reach mend, the fly's there and I've got all this drift, all this natural drift. The reach, mend, stop and then mend.